Hello, um, part two on the little Gale two ways. So as you saw in the um, first video, we took them apart and had a look inside. Um, <clears throat> they got these nice five inch micro lab drivers that I, I really like. Um, I've used the six and a half inch version of these and I've got a few of them. I wish I could find a supplier for them because I would, I would be using them. I really like them. Um, and coupled to this, we've got this teeny tiny little tweeter. I'll, um, I've measured these individually now, just the raw drivers when I've been doing the new crossover. So I'll um, stick those measurements up now. And as you can see, the woofer plays really nicely. It's got a nice natural roll off. Uh, there's not really much cone break up or anything where it's rolling off. Um, really usable high up. Um, but this tweeter is awful. Um, if I look at my measurements. Yeah, really from 4000 hertz downwards, it's, it's unusable. Um, and it's got quite a lot of ringing as well. And that's been really difficult to play with. So yeah, this tweeter is not a good fit for this, this woofer. Um, and I really did struggle with the, with the crossover um, because I've had to play the woofer up really high because I can't use this much lower than 4K. So we've ended up with a crossover point of about four and a half thousand hertz, which is, is high. Um, I know we've got a small woofer, really, um, with a woofer this size, I would be looking to cross at two and a half thousand hertz, maybe a bit lower. Um, but this, this tweeter is just, is crap. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> that is a bit of a bottleneck. So, um, yeah, so I've ended up using still a first order filter on the woofer before we had, a, I think, a, a 0.47 millihenry laminated core inductor. I've increased this to a 60 air core, um, which does pull the roll off back a little bit. So I am leaning a bit more on the tweeter now. Um, before we had a, a first order filter on the tweeter as well. So I think it was a 2.2. And after that, um, a two ohm resistor. And it was quite peaked up. Um, I'll put the original measurements in now so you can have a look. Yeah, and as you can see, they, they just weren't meeting each other. This wouldn't play down low enough. This would play high enough, but they were rolling it off um, quite a bit. So yeah, um, I've ended up using a 2.2 as well, but a good poly cap with an 8.2 ohm resistor in front of it because the ESR value on the 2.2 poly is much lower. So allows this to play much um, higher or um, louder I should say so I've had to kill that a little bit and then I've um, introduced an inductor to ground uh, 0.47 so same value as the woofer inductor actually the original one so I can um, kind of allow it to play kind of where it did but pull it down um, so we don't get into that area where it breaks up and it's it's better so this is the new on-axis measurement I've got. And as you can see, we are, we've got a bit of a dip around three and a half K, um, but that's because I can't push this any lower. Uh, the woofer is naturally beginning to roll off anyway, so I could notch the woofer down and make use of it, but the sensitivity will drop down. So that's the, the issue, but it's not in a bad place to have it. Um, and also the tweeter has this peak at around 5,000 to 7,000 hertz. So again, with a second order, I've managed to pull that down a bit, um, which was quite, quite tricky. In fact, um, you can see how many iterations of that um, inductor roll off I went through with this picture. So yeah, what I was really trying to shoot for is obviously a more even frequency response. I mean, now we are, I don't know, across my measurement range, plus minus 3 dB, which isn't bad. Um, 
And the important thing was to try and keep the drivers in phase, um, moving left and right, up and down. So that has compromised things a little bit, but I think they've worked out quite well. So um, this is the new vertical measurements. which much better than they were before. <laughs> and these are the new horizontal measurements. And in the vertical, they're staying, going 10 degrees up, 10 degrees down at one meter, staying in phase quite nicely. Um, and horizontal, the tweeter starts dropping off, which is what you expect, um, but they're still pretty consistent. So a compromise on axis a little bit to improve that off axis um, which gives you a, a wider listening area so pretty good um, this is how the woofer and the tweeter roll into each other so that's um, they're summing up nicely there's no cancellation there so that's worked pretty well um, in terms of the spectral decay, stored energy, I've lined the cabinet with polyfill because there was only a teeny bit at the bottom. So a lot of the original ring we saw is the original spectral decay. So a lot of that was the rear wave from the woofer just bouncing around inside and re-exciting the cone. So with a load of damping, some more polyfill around there. We've um, knocked quite a lot of that out. There is still some there, but that's because the box, there's no bracing or anything, it's better. Um, and also we had a horrible ringing in the um, tweeters range. Um, and with a bit better components um, and a bit more control on that, that seems to have really reduced. So um, that would have gotten quite fatiguing after a while. Um, distortion, I'll put the new distortion measurements up now. They are really clean, as clean as I can measure them down to the noise floor in my office. Um, yeah, so pretty good really. So I'm pleased with the upgrade. I've loosely soldered the components on the back and listened to them. And it's pretty night and day compared to what they were before. So really pleased with them, but I'm going to call them done. Um, I'm happy with the improvements. I'm happy with how they sound. Um, but I don't know whether I'll take it a step further and look at addressing this tweeter. I've got no end. I think there's 15 in there of these little peerless uh, three quarter inch neo motor tweeters and i'm pretty sure i could cut that out and fit that behind i've looked at various other tweeters that would drop into here but the magnet is is too big it, it doesn't allow it to fit as it should there so i would probably have to reuse this bezel um, but that's not the end of the world so these are quite a winner um, i use them as a super tweeter now in my design which i'll do a video on soon um, and they're really, really good. They're not expensive either. Um, and I've found a few applications for these where on older speakers you can't get the tweeters anymore and I can retrofit these and they're working out quite well. So yeah, I'll stick all the measurements up in a picture collage now. Um, but for the time being, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them there. So yeah, sorry, this is a bit, bit of a short and sweet techie, um, video. Uh, the other thing is binding posts. Really I should replace these with something brass um, to get this steel out the signal path but at the moment um, I just don't really see the point. Um, I could blank off these two and just put one set. There is no point in having this speaker by wireable or by amped. Um, it's just that's just a gimmick on these. So yeah, pointless. Anyway, um, there you go. Catch you soon. Yeah, so last little thing. Um, these are the crossovers for the uh, little silver monitors. 
you'll see that I've built the tweeter circuit on the back here and as the woofer is only first order um, the inductors for those will just be screwed into the box so um, I've gotten rid of the second set of terminals for the tweeter um, so we've just got positive and negative so we've got our positive here um, the red will go out to our inductor for the woofer and then to the woofer and then for the tweeter we come through the resistor through the cap that's underneath there picking up our inductor and our cable out to the tweeter and ground for the inductor here um, you'll see that I've reused the inductor which was originally on the woofer yeah it's a laminated iron core but um, for these and how naff that tweeter is it's, uh, it's good enough um, so yeah just keeps the uh, parts cost down so yeah really um, if this was something that you were going to do you would be in it for a resistor um, a capacitor and an air core inductor for the woofer and some new wiring but yeah if it's something if you've got a pair of these uh, I can tell you this is a very big improvement for these um, give us a shout anyway there we go catch you later